short story by Paul McCann, Spring Clearance. It was early in the morning and the crowds were gathering outside the large supermarket store for their first of the annual spring sales. Buskers performed on the sidewalk opposite and now and then fast food vans paraded past with the aromatic smell of hot coffee and donuts wafting through the still morning air. On the sidewalk, a well-groomed young lady held tightly to her shopping bag. She made her way through the queue towards the front of the store. Luckily enough, she got away with it. I guess she was the pushy type of person, but so innocent of face and very pretty. Every now and then, she stopped to check her shopping list that she had previously written. There were a number of specific things that she had written down, which included the colour, size and name of the designer labels that she wanted. The wonder of it all was that she came with no money. But that wasn't an issue because she was slowly acquiring the funds that she needed for shopping. In a few seconds she dipped her pockets and handbags, dropping items into her shopping bag. Always working in tight crowds, unseen, unsuspected and unbelievably sleight of hand. The amount of cash she drew in often depended upon what part of town she was in or in which queue she stood. As far as pickpockets went, she was one of the best. She had style, beauty and courage. She loved to dip the larger pockets of middle-aged men who didn't mind her getting in close. She chose to become almost invisible and picked her victims at random. Her looks were deceiving. With a, an hour or so, she knew she had more than enough to do her shopping spree and the doors were just about to open and as they did the stampede almost knocked the store manager off his feet. The pickpocket made her way to the toilets where she quickly emptied the cash out of all of the wallets and purses in her shopping bag. After putting the loot into her bag she dumped all the evidence into a rubbish container in the ladies' toilet and then made her way into the store to begin shopping. A few minutes passed when a very quiet and very upset man approached, screaming, Somebody stole my wallet! Customers nearby were uncomfortable with him as he continued. Then he started to shout and scream. Two security men approached and had a quiet word with him. He wasn't making it any easier for himself by becoming aggressive towards them. Eventually, they had to escort him outside. The lady pickpocket was now a bit more relaxed and slowly started to make her way through her shopping list, ticking off each of the items that she had purchased along the way. Suddenly when another customer discovered she had been robbed, she let out a piercing scream and shouted aloud, Call the police! I've been robbed! The pickpocket watched from a distance and she even enjoyed the pleas of her victims who were in great distress. As her other victims were finding out that they too had been robbed, she gloated and proudly reflected back on her morning's handiwork. 
Her twisted feelings of elation came to a close when a masked man appeared, brandishing a handgun. Holding it to the young lady's head, he ordered everyone to get on the floor. As security guards arrived, the bandit fired three shots, taking out some of the store's video surveillance cameras. The store manager approached with his hands in the air, pleading for him to let the young lady go. The bandit tossed an empty shopping bag to the manager's feet and said, Fill a bag with cash now. I want big notes only. Don't try to be smart. Anyone who gets smart gets a bullet. Don't call the police. And she's coming with me as my hostage. Don't think I won't shoot any other person in the store. The manager nodded his head in agreement and took up the bag. As he made way from till to till, putting cash into the bag, the bandit continued to shout demands. Security men, throw your weapons in the ground and kick them over to me now. In a minute of desperation, the bag was filled and handed to the bandit who made his way from the store with his gun at the head of the lady pickpocket. A busker who had become a hero was shot on the spot and fell to the ground. People on the sidewalk ran for cover. Please, let me go. The lady said to the bandit, No way. You're standing right here with me and my gun until I think I'm in the clear, okay? Help me! She screamed to people, but they weren't interested to get involved. The bandit opened the door of the car and pushed the girl into the driver's seat. Drive, he said. She replied, I've never driven a car before. Well, move over into the passenger seat, and if you try anything, I'll use this gun and I'll hate to see your blood all over my windscreen. The young lady did as she was asked, and as the bandit got behind the wheel and drove away from the curb, with one hand on the wheel and the other hand pointing the gun at the young lady's head. On the way to another incident, a police car came speeding up from behind with lights flashing and the siren sounding. The bandit assumed that the police were after him and began to drive at speed in and out of the traffic. The police car took up pursuit and radioed headquarters for backup. The bandit's car continued to evade the police and at times almost collided with pedestrians. The police were forced to give up the chase as it was becoming too dangerous to continue the pursuit in the city traffic. The bandit thought he was in the clear but once his car was out of the freeway and speeding through the inner city streets a number of police again took up pursuit. Above in the sky a copper and a chopper hovered overhead and the bandit became extremely agitated. As his car thundered along, the police had placed a roadblock and spikes across the road in front. The bandit panicked and tried to turn around to face the opposite direction, but in doing so, flipped the car and landed in the path of an oncoming semi-trailer. The impact of the collision was so bad that both people in the car were killed instantly. The car had exploded into flames and everything inside the vehicle was destroyed. As no banknotes were found and the car had been a stolen vehicle, the police were at loss to explain why the driver of the car acted the way he did. Both the lady pickpocket and the bandit were of an unknown identity and the cases behind their deaths still remain a mystery. The end.